Soon, a brand new mode will enter World of Tanks. Get ready for unique mechanics and tons of great features. 7v7 battles in Tier 10 vehicles, vehicle preparation just moments before battle, game-changing and powerful role skills, updated maps with points of interest, a special ranking system, voice chat for your entire team, and even 7-player platoons. This is Onslaught. The first launch will be called Season of the Griffin. To participate, you need at least one Tier 10 vehicle in your garage. In Onslaught, you'll be shown your team and battle map before being asked to select a vehicle. Pre-battle preparation will take place during the countdown. At that point, you'll already know the starting positions of your allies. You'll also be able to switch equipment and consumables during this time. However, you won't know anything about the enemy's vehicles until they are spotted. Fog of War is active in Onslaught. Select and configure your vehicle depending on the battlefield and adjust to any team lineup on the fly. But keep in mind that some maps have been adapted specifically for Onslaught. For example, you can now safely roll through the window on El Halouf. And it's now easier to break through the main workshop on Pilsen. On top of that, buildings have been added to Sand River. And there are new small changes throughout Himmelsdorf everywhere but the castle. All of these changes make the maps more suitable for 7v7 battles and the new points of interest. Points of interest are a brand new feature in World of Tanks. Capture these areas on the map to earn special tactical skills. There are two types of points of interest. The comm center can be captured in just a few seconds. It allows you to use the Divisional Radar skill, which briefly spots all enemy vehicles. Capturing the Artillery Headquarters allows you to call in heavy artillery support. Enemy vehicles in the impact zone will be damaged and stunned. Nearby allies will be stunned too, but they won't suffer any damage. The Artillery Headquarters may provide a significant advantage, but it will take longer to capture. You can only use each skill once per capture. However, if you want to give it another shot, just capture the position again later. But remember, any damage to your tank at a point of interest will temporarily block the capture. Points of interest can turn the tide of a battle. Capturing them is risky, but it's said that risk is a noble cause. In addition to points of interest and tactical skills, Onslaught will also feature roll skills. These skills are different for each vehicle roll. For example, an assault tank destroyer can briefly transform into a fierce, unstoppable warrior and reload faster from each hit it takes. Tracked light tanks can call in a recon flight to spot enemy vehicles in a given area. Super heavy tanks can restore hit points to their vehicles and to nearby allied vehicles as well. Every player's roll skill charge level will be zero at the start of battle. You can boost your charge level by earning prestige points for successful maneuvers in battle, such as spotting the enemy, causing damage, destroying tracks, or capturing a point of interest. If the action matches your vehicle roll, you'll get even more points. Roll skills have three charge levels, and although you can use a skill right after earning it, if you wait until reaching charge level 2 or 3, the effect will be far stronger. Use the voice chat to coordinate skills with your allies. Guys, I'm spotting the greenery. I'll cover you. I'll fire at the gap. This chat is available for the entire team and allows you to function as one big platoon. The chat is disabled by default, but it can be easily activated while in battle. Another important feature of Onslaught, new platoons. Instead of the usual three-person platoons, you can create a two-person platoon with your friend or a super platoon of seven players for the entire team. The matchmaker will try to match super platoons against one another, but if there are no super platoons available in the queue, it will match random players and regular two-player platoons with similar ratings. Onslaught is a competitive mode based on ratings. This means that you won't be able to create a platoon of players with drastically different ranks. Players will compete against teams of roughly the same mastery level. The higher you climb in the rankings, the more challenging the battles will get. You can earn rating points for impressive performance in battle. By accumulating these points, you'll move up through divisions, which are grouped in five main ranks, from debutante to gold. 
There are also two additional ranks for the most experienced tankers, Champion and Legend. Players in these ranks will earn spots on the leaderboard. The player's position on the leaderboard will depend on the number of rating points they've earned. However, if you're in the Silver, Gold, Champion or Legend rank, not participating in the mode for long periods of time will cause you to lose points. Every battle in Onslaught replenishes your activity charge, which keeps your score from dropping. Improve your game skills, reach new heights, and hold your positions. But most importantly, win again and again. There are two types of rewards available in Onslaught mode. The first type is awarded for battles won. All players will have the chance to earn valuable in-game items, including the improved compressor. The second type of reward is earned for reaching new ranks. Get ready for badges, dog tag elements, and most importantly, the special progressive Wing and Claw 2D style. As you move up in the rankings, the style will get more and more impressive, so you can show the enemy what you're really capable of. There's also one more reward that's reserved for the most dedicated players. Players at the Champion and Legend ranks will receive a daily allowance of bonds. Choose the right time and place to set off your skills, form super platoons, coordinate the entire team in the voice chat, and get the rewards you deserve. Prepare for Onslaught. Good luck, Commanders!